Hey everyone and welcome back to Funko Pop! And we're back at my desk. Hello, here's my hand yet again. Uh, so yeah, actually no, I'm in Warsaw right now and so I decided to go look for Pops and I found quite a few really awesome ones. So this is a mega haul video. It's going, I divided it into a few categories based on the Pops that they're from. So, let's start with miscellaneous and there's only one Pop in this one. And it is... Dun 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 dun! It's the Red Spartan Warrior, if we could get focus on that, please. Thank you very much, there he goes. The Red Spartan Warrior, as you can see. I'm really excited, because I've never really seen these in a while. Like, honestly, any of these pops that you'll see today, I've never seen in a while. So, like, getting them just out in the store for regular price was a great achievement that I am very happy about. So, as you can see, here we have the Red Spartan Warrior from Halo 4. Not really a Halo fan myself, but I do like the Spartan Warriors and how they look. So this is a great get. As always on the side, we got the little drawing of the pop. On the back, we got ugliest sticker. Uh, I'm grumpy about that. But we also have the whole collection selection. So here we have the little guy outside of his box looking Pretty cool, I must say. I really, really, really like the way he looks. It is quite nice. I especially love the detail on the back. I mean, look at that. Looks absolutely incredible. Let me zoom in for you guys a bit. And focus, possibly. There we go. As you can see, it looks tremendous on the back. The detail is absolutely incredible. The entire armor is seriously well made and the back of the helmet really really nice detail i'm loving this pop it's it looks fantastic honestly i really want to acquire the rest of the collection to have the colorful pops of spartan warriors and master chiefs and halos and stuff my only real complaint with this pop comes with the gun i think the gun is quite flimsy looking it doesn't look too good uh on actually on camera it looks much better than real life but that's my only real complaint with the pop. Besides that, the paint job on it is really good. That's not what you usually see on pops. So this one, they did a really good job on this one. I am very happy with this one. Red Halo Spartan Warrior, approved. All right, well, moving into the next category, we got the Star Wars pops category. Yes, the old Star Wars, not the new ones, actually, not the Force Awakens, because these are the old ones, the more classic ones. Let's start out with a convention exclusive, or an exclusive of sorts. Ba -da -da -da. It is the R2Q5. As you can see, it has the European uh, sticker for exclusives. That's because we're in Europe right at the moment. But yeah, here's the R2Q5, the black R2 as it is called. And it looks good. On the side, a really funny looking drawing of the figure. It looks weird and funny. Honestly, and at the back we got rest of this series. So here's the guy outside of his box. He is a little black bobblehead. Look at him, bubble! Oh, yes, he's a bobblehead. It's an R2 U5, but I call him the black R2 D2 bobblehead, and it looks really good. Doing a little 360 pan around, as you can see, it is a little can on two sticks but it looks pretty cool. The back is pretty plain. It's not like the, right, the Halo Pop we just took a look at. This back is quite plain, but it still looks pretty cool overall as a whole pop. And it bubbles and it's a black R2, so what's there not to love? And of course, if you're not a fan of the old base little thingy, little flimsy plastic base they give you with the Star Wars Pops, you can always take it off and you can have it just roll around your desk if you please. Moving on with the Star Wars Pops, we got Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. So here we go, we got Admiral Akbar from the Star Wars Pop series. Also really rare and I'm really happy to acquire him on retail price. As you can see on the side, a little drawing of him. Looks really, really cool. At, at the back, we got the entire series. Uh, come back here. We got the entire series from the Admiral Akbar set. You can see we got all of these guys and one two three four of these are really rare and these two are not here is admiral akbar in all his glory standing on the little star wars stand the only problem with this guy he doesn't really want to stand he kind of 
slouches forward in the stand, which is slightly irritating, but it is there. He's just chilling on the stand, as you can see. Uh, his head is tilted slightly sideways, which is interesting. It's an interesting position for him to have. And his soulless stares. I don't know, there's something about this pop that's kind of disturbing with his soulless stare, but at the same time, it is looking really cool. As you can see here on his chest, he's got his little shirt with the medals and whatnot. And at the back, we got some bad paint jobs both on the back of his shirt right here, as well as the back of the head over here, and on the little tail end right there, as well as slightly on the top of the head, as you can see, he fell off the stand, but on the top of the head, not too great either. But yes, this guy, much better without his stand. His stand just does not suit him, at least the exact model I have, the stand is not suiting him too well. The guy just doesn't want to stand on it. He he, he, he chooses what he does. He's Admiral Akbar. He can do what he wants. <laughs> yep, the next stop in the Star Wars pop series, we got the Tusken Raider. This guy took a bit of hustling, but I got him. I got him. And the box came slightly banged up, not as mint as all the others. All the other boxes were so mint, it actually hurt to unbox them, but this guy is not too mint, but he's looking really, really cool. And I can't wait to show him off to you guys so here we go here he is in his glory on the side we got of course the little printing of him and on the back a giant sticker once again i don't know this is something about europe they like to plop giant stickers on their pop boxes for unknown reasons but they're there and of course the, the series again uh he belongs to we got slave leia in there hello and little jubba and yeah there he is the tuscan raider in all his glory Standing on the desk looking really freaking cool looking off to the side with his head slightly and he really bubbles like He is the definition of a bubble head. Look at this. Hold on when I plop him down on the desk There you go. He keeps bubbling and he will keep bubbling on and on and on for a really long time Because this guy likes to bubble taking a closer look at his detail on the paint job It's really well made like all these older pops I got really seem to have their shit together in terms of painting like there aren't any like visible paint flaws are too horrible looking and in general they look much better than the pops we get nowadays the common pops that tend to have a lot of paint flaws on them like oh they missed the paint here or there no this guy this guy looks really good in general there's really nothing i noticed that's really too terrible the only thing is that on his hand right here as you can see there you go there's slight paint flaws, but besides that, he looks pretty much spot on, and he looks really cool. Like, I love the way he, Tuscan Raider looks. Probably one of my favorite pops, as you can see here at the back of him. Not much except the head wrap right there, but he looks really cool, and he's got this little... Not even sure if that is a... That's not a gun, it's just some sort of thing. He has it, though. It's looking really awesome and bubbly. It bubbles a lot. I like this guy. He will be bubbling on my desk for a long time. <laughs> Me so happy! And last but not least, we got the fan favorite, the best character, all of Star Wars history, Le Jar Jar Binks. As you can see, he slightly fell off his stand already in the box, but there he is. Hello, Jar Jar. Look at that. He just Look, that's a really freaking creepy looking Jar Jar right there. Holy crap. There he is on his little side drawing looking really, really awesome and out of focus. There we go. There we go. Here is Jar Jar standing on his little pedestal looking all Jar Jar-ish. <laughs> be perfectly honest, he looks like a Jar Jar. He looks really... I like the way he looks, honestly, the way the pop is made is great. I'm not gonna be hating on him just because of his character in the movie, but I do love the pop of him and his general character design is kind of interesting. I like it. I like it the way he looks. Again, not many paint job flaws on this guy, except right here on the news. Let me just zoom in a little bit. I think, yeah, uh, it was there for a second, it's now gone completely. There you go, as you can see, though, as you could see for a second, uh, there's slight flaws on the paint job of the nose right here and right okay and those, those two general spots you get the idea there you go right there and right there 
And here's the back of him, looks really cool. There is a lot of light shining, so I got really strong light in this room. So it's just shining down on Jar Jar. The only mistake I see on the back, oh, there's actually quite a few on the back. Uh, here is one that's a major one on the arm. This is like this little like crease sort of black stroke thing. That's kind of irritating on the other arm. There's a little black spot that's not pick, being picked up on camera, which is interesting. And on the, I don't even know what the hell to call these things. Like the claws of it, the back of his head, there's also a little black on them but besides that it looks really good and honestly i like the oh you just know there's a big paint flaw misha paint flaw look at it look at that there's a giant black mark right there right there but besides that i really love the attention uh, to the detail on this guy it's incredible his texture of his skin if i could show that off somehow that'd be great because the texture on his skin is really incredible like i love the way they did that there you go there he goes, you can see the texture on the skin, it's incredible looking, it looks really great uh, in real life. So if you ever get the chance to look at a Jar Jar figure, look at it, because like the way that looks is incredible. And uh, as you can see on the eyeballs here, the little eyelash detail is quite nice, it looks really really good. Yeah, those little dots on the eyes look really good uh, when you look at the pop from the front right there so that concludes our star wars series look and now we're moving on to the last series that i picked up which is the lord of the rings slash hobbit uh theme and we got gandalf yes we got hatless gandalf i actually managed to pick him up it's incredible been looking to get a gandalf for a really long time so i'm really happy to finally get one it's not the, one of the hat but it's still really cool uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters from Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit series. So I'm really happy to pick up Gandalf. As you can see on the side, the little drawing of the gold and everything looks really, really cool. And on the back, the whole series, the only other one I was really looking forward to is Legolas. And it sold the day before, which I was really upset about because I would have had a Legolas and a Gandalf. But for now, I gotta stick with the Gandalf. There we go. Gandalf in all his glory, chilling out. With his staff looking all godlike, to be perfectly honest. It looks kind of like Moses or Jesus with his staff. But anyway, all that aside, right away you'll probably notice two paint flaws on the front of the face. As you can see, there's like a little glue stain that's just kind of dripping down his face. And over oh, here, I can get my. There we go, right there. And then, of course, up. Oh, Focus back in, please! And then there's one on the eye that's really noticeable. The one on the nose is not that noticeable. It's more noticeable on camera, but these two are definitely up there. You could kind of say I got a battle scarred uh, freaking Gandalf, but yeah, there he is. Besides these two paint flaws, there really isn't anything else that's wrong with him. I love the way he looks. He's got incredible detail on him. Like the staff is incredibly detailed. I like the texture of the staff that we got going on. Yeah, the texture of the staff is incredible. Uh, the details on his little scarf and his robe are really, really good. Like it looks fantastic to be perfectly honest. And then from the back, we don't have much. It's just hair and the robe. But it honestly, like it's one of the coolest pops I own right now. And I'm really happy about it. And here he is compared to Jar Jar. I wanted to bring Jar Jar back in for a second because I forgot to mention one thing. He's really heavy. Like, he is a really meaty character. And then Gandalf is kind of like also heavy but much lighter than uh, the figure of Jar Jar. And as you can see, scale wise, Jar Jar is much taller than Gandalf apparently. And last but not least, we got the biggest one of them all. It's a big pop. There he is. The Golden Smog, ladies and gentlemen. Golden Smog from The Hobbit. And he looks really cool. He's honestly, the way he just, wow. All around looks incredible. Look at him, he's so shiny and so golden. Looks just, He looks great. Traditionally on the side, the drawing of Smog. Apparently my camera's picking up this as a face of a human, so that's interesting. And at the back, again, we have the entire Hobbit series. Of course, I wanted the Hat, uh, hat, I have the hatless Gandalf, but I want the one of the hat and I want the Legolas the most out of all these characters. There he is, the golden smog in all his glory, sitting on here 
on my desk. He looks just too good. Like the way he looks, look at the scaling on him. Like the scaling on him is so beautiful and it shines in the light. And like, look at it, the scaling, the detail on that is just incredible. I have the regular smog sitting on my desk in New York, so I'll be definitely replacing him with this golden smog because this guy is stunning looking. Look at the detail on his wings. Like those little lines add so much and it just shines. It looks looks the way it's supposed to look. It looks golden, looks majestic, looks heavy, looks incredible. Here's his curled up tail and here's what he looks like from the back. As you can see, riding a dragon, woo! But yeah, he's really heavy. He's a really heavy figure and very detailed scaling all the way through. Uh, great little horny thingies on the back and as well from the side. You can see a little foot curled up under his wing. It's in the little tail that's curled up. Look at the scaling on that. That looks so good. That looks like legit, like snakes, like lizard thing skin. It just looks great. Look at him. Here he is in all his glory, looking incredible. As you can see, detailing on the nose and the face is just great. And so there it is, my entire pickup from the Polish comic book store slash collector thing store. All of them were retail price, uh, some of them even lower than retail, so I'm really happy about them. And all these figures look incredible. So if you ever can get your hands on these, uh, I'll, I especially recommend the Spartan Warrior, the Golden Smog, the Skin Warrior. These guys look incredible. But besides that, the Jar Jar, uh, Admiral Akbar, great detailing on them. And they feel really heavy and just Jar Jar, honestly, I hate the character, but he's one of the best looking, best done and like heavy uh, pop figures there is. And of course, Gandalf looking majestic and everything. R2 comes out the worst out of these because it is just a repainted black version of R2, but the rest are incredible looking. So if you ever want to pick up any of these, make sure you do because they are amazing. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any of these. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace!